Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahushai, Call Halal Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and citation to you brothers that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Um, I'm Awad Shamar with another video. Um, it's kind of based off of, it's like a, just want to, uh, just thinking about like a keep in mind video, the brother out DC Zayanala, he uh, do those keep in mind videos. And um, is it, I probably, I, sp I know I spoke about it at camp like some years ago, but um, there's a time when the Lord uh, took out Ezekiel's wife and um, it was to make a statement to Israel. So, I mean, you know, the Lord put the prophets through the ringer, but um, I'll just get into it real quick. This is um, Ezekiel 24 and 15. It says, also the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, Behold, I take away from thee the desire of thy eyes with a stroke. Now look at the word stroke. That word is, uh, I believe it's magapa. Magapa. Yeah, magapa. And it means um, a blow or a strike. See, the Most High took uh, Ezekiel's wife out quickly, man. Um, took him out quickly and commanded him to speak uh, the words that he wanted to speak, him, uh, speak to the nation of Israel regarding them. Uh, let's see, um, what is this, uh, Psalm 60, Psalm 60, let's see, unto the Lord, yeah, here it is, um, here, this is Psalm 68 and 20, it says, he that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto the power of the Lord belongeth the issues from death. Okay, and you know, um, when uh, Ezekiel's wife was uh, smoked, she went back to the Heavenly Father, man. Um, let's jump down, let's keep on reading. Verse 16 it says, Son of man, behold, I take away from thee the desire of thine eyes with a stroke, yet neither shall thou mourn nor weep, neither, sh neither shall thy tears run down. Okay, forbear to cry, make no mourning for the dead, bind the tire. Of thine head upon thee, and put on thy shoes upon thy feet, and cover not thy lips, and eat not the bread of men. So I spake unto the people in the morning, and at even, in the evening, okay, at even, my wife died, and I did in the morning as I was commanded. And the people said unto me, Will thou not tell us what these things are to us? So they hear the people coming to the prophet and they're asking, what do these things mean to us? Here it is. Ezekiel prophesied in the morning to the people. Okay. And in, in, in the evening, the Most High smote his wife. Okay. And the next morning, the people are asking Ezekiel. They don't see him mourning in that state of mourning because the Most High commanded him not to mourn. So they're asking, what do these things mean to us? Because they know Ezekiel was a prophet. Okay. And, it's, and it reads, it says, So I spake unto the people in the morning, and at even my wife died, and I did mourning as I, I was commanded. And the people said unto me, Will thou not tell us what these things are to us, that thou doest so? Then I answered them, The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Speak unto the house of Israel, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary, the excellency of your strength, the desire of your eyes and that which your soul pitieth and your sons and your daughters whom ye have left shall fall by the sword and ye shall do as I have done. Ye shall not cover your lips nor eat the bread of men and your tires shall be upon your heads and your shoes upon your feet. Ye shall not mourn nor weep. But ye shall pine away for your iniquities and mourn one to another. Thus Ezekiel is unto you a sign. According to all that he hath done, shall ye do. And when this cometh, when and when this cometh, ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. So the Most High set up Ezekiel, okay, to be a sign to the people, all right? And he prophesied unto them. Now that was a scripture um, that I wanted to keep in mind, you know that I, I, 
I wanted to keep in mind because it reminds me of this scripture right here. And, uh, well, you know, 1 Corinthians, the 7th chapter. 1 Corinthians, the 2nd chapter, and uh, 7 and 13, it says, And the woman which have an un... un um, Shalakia, and the woman which hath an husband that believeth not, and if he be pleased to dwell with her, let her not leave him. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children, or it says, else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. But, let me jump down, hold on, this right here. Jump to the point. Uh, 7 and uh, 16, it says, um, For what knowest thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Or how knowest thou, O man, whether thou shalt save thy wife? And that's the question mark because um, you don't know. You don't know. The Most High gets down uh, to make a, uh, a sample. Um, look what the Lord did to Ezekiel's wife. Um, I just brought this out because it talks about the unbelieving um, husband, the unbelieving wife. You know, how they're sanctified by each other. If they be pleased to dwell with each other. But the point that I wanted to uh, bring out, it says, For what man, for what knoweth thou, O wife, whether thou shalt save thy husband? Now, um, Ezekiel's wife was the, uh, when he reads, um, was the um, the desire of his eye, okay? You have men, you know, you come into this truth, you know, you have a woman, you know, that that's the desire of your eye. You're, you're with her, you, 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 uh, you're building, you know, you, you know, you're coming together with your woman, you have a house, you're taking care of responsibilities. That might just be. For the season that we in. You know what I'm saying? And then at that point, when that season is over, we transition into the time of the, the official time of Jacob's trouble. But we're in the time of Jacob's trouble now. But when we come into the time of Jacob's trouble on the, the like the biblical, you know, type level, you know, your wife, she might be taken away just as Ezekiel's wife all right, was taken away. Um, there's another scripture. Let me bring this out. Um, kind of kind of land back on um, uh, what Ezekiel went through, because Ezekiel caught hell. So this is uh, Hebrews twelve verse six. It says, "For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth." Okay. It says, "If ye endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chast?" Chast, chasten if not Okay So We were told that uh, Ezekiel Was the um, son of the Heavenly Father By the chastening that he went through Okay By the chastening that he went through But Overall Ezekiel 24th chapter That's a good chapter to read We read up in that chapter When it talks about woe to the bloody city The bloody city was Israel Israel was doing all types of wickedness man all right, Israel, Israel, we actually deserve what we're going through, you know, and really to, it's light compared to what our people were doing. Yahweh Bashim is merciful, but sometimes it don't, it don't feel like that. Um, you know, it don't feel like that, but as a matter of fact, I'll, I'll leave with this scripture because, uh, this is this scripture is true, and we want to understand it more as the time it, all when all hell breaks loose. Okay, um, what is that? Um, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. I might be all over the place, you know, but these uh, just wanted to bring this out. Bring these um. Bring these uh, scriptures out. Uh, this is Ezekiel eight. In 11, it says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil in hundred times and his days be prolonged. So you have sinners, which sin is a transgression of the law. One of the laws is uh, not to be homosexual. That's uh, Leviticus 20 and 13. So it says, uh, though a sinner do evil in hundred times 
and his days be prolonged, so you have homosexuals. I'm just using it as an example. They do wickedness and they prolong their days. Especially you got these uh, top uh, entertainers and stuff like that. It seems like their days are prolonged. It says, yet surely, it says, though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Most High, which fear before him. Okay? It says, um, but it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Heavenly Father. Alright? So, like, like the scriptures say, it shall go, I mean, it shall be well with him that fear the Most High, which fear before, fear before him. Alright, Ezekiel was an example of a man that walked with that fear. He did what he was commanded. You know, how many men in these times, if, if, if they woman died, you know, they, they, but they, you know, they gird up their loins and be a man and do what was commanded of them. Not a lot, you know, but, you know, Ezekiel was an example. You know, the prophet Ezekiel was an example and he was made an example for the children of Israel. Okay. So with that, I'm going to say, call her law, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Kakwadash, double honest to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutation to you brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.